Start by taking the clay of your choice and roll it out onto your surface. If you don't have clay, you can also use the paper mache method that we did for the pancakes. Now find a square object that you can press into the clay. I'm using this cross bead because the bottom is a square and it's easy to hold. I'm just gonna press it into the clay and make the rows as even as possible. Once I've covered enough area to make a waffle, I'm taking my circle cookie cutter and cutting out the waffles. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use a cap or anything circle that you can cut into the clay. Eggo waffles tend to be more yellow, so I use a yellow, but you can also use a lighter color for a more authentic homemade version and you can even cut them into squares. Now take your chalk pastels and prepare them. It also helps to have a side of water ready so you can dip your brush in it before you add the chalk. You don't want your brush too wet, just a little bit. You can also use craft paint if you don't have the chalk for the colors and make sure your clay completely dries and then you can seal it. This is optional, but you can package your waffles by taking a plastic bag and cutting it down to size. You can use a recycled cereal bag or even frozen waffle bag. Use double-sided tape on two sides and then you can fold it creating your package. Make two stacks of waffles and then you can package them. Seal the package and you can place them in the box. You can find this Eggo waffle box printable on our blog at AmericanGirlIdeas.com. If you can't use the printable, just make the waffles and serve them on a dish. These also fit perfectly in your doll toaster. Give this video a thumbs up if you want us to craft a waffle maker and leave us a comment telling us what toppings you like to add on your waffles. give a shout out to everyone that asked for waffles. Thanks for the request and just craft it.